Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you the three month propagation update of my philodendron, Jose Bono. So, three months ago, I propagated my Jose Bono. She was massive, she was one of my biggest plants, and it really hurt me that I had to just you know, I don't know what I was thinking, but now I have potentially like a lot of philodendron Jose Bono babies. So um, in this video, I'll show you the initial chop, which was three months ago, a one month update, a two month update, and today it's been three months. I'm gonna show you how they're doing today. Okay, a few side notes again. Guys, it's getting so dark. It is 5, 5 p.m. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's like pitch black outside. Also, I don't know if y'all can see but my trees up right over there. Do y'all see your future Kevin zoom in? I'm not pointing. Oh, there, right there. Everyone was so supportive. All, most of you said whatever makes you happy. And Christmas makes me happy. So it's up. And let me just give you a closer look. Just give me a second. Okay, here she is, guys. Oh my gosh, look at her. She is just, okay, I know there's no star. She actually burnt out. I don't know if that's bad luck, but she did it. Um, look at her. So I was going for like very, you know, simplistic, like some, you know, oop, I almost fell. But like sophisticated, woodsy, rose gold situations. And yeah, I mean, here's a closer look, this ribbon. I always need a tree with a ribbon. That's just me, but like, wow, 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 we got some berries anyways okay let me oh i'm falling again so oh, she needs a star guys but that's what she looks like okay so before i start this video if you're new here and you like these kind of videos i would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and also follow me on instagram if you like plant pictures i post pictures every single day okay so i'm going to insert a clip from august 4th which was three months ago this was the initial chop and roll the tape Oh, you're so pretty. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, it's always so stressful. Okay. So I have to, similar to my Thai constellation, I have to propagate this plant. And I'm really sad because I would love to watch it grow. She has my, oh. Oh my God. Let me change my shirt actually. <laughs> So yeah, it's just crazy guys because like she has grown so much and like it's really hard to showcase her, but she's as tall as me and I just have to chop her. So I've mentioned before, I have been air layering this plant. So you could see here, future Kevin zoom in. You have some sphagnum moss and some saran wrap. Uh, there have been some new roots that have grown out. So I feel comfortable at this point cutting her and actually I tried wrapping these around and didn't work. So we're gonna have to <laughs> bring out this kitchen knife. Here we go. Oh my God, do y'all hear that? Oh, oh my God, I can't take it. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so <laughs> here's the top one, guys. So two leaves. Um, I guess I'll show you what was happening with the air layering. You can see that these roots have grown out. Oh, oh my God, okay. Um, I'm panicking. Oh my God, where do I put it? Okay, 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 okay. Let me adjust the camera. And you could see down here, future Kevin zoom in, that I tried <laughs> air layering, but the roots just went through the plastic. And um, yeah, we're just gonna make another chop, everyone. Okay, here we go. Second one. I'm gonna try not to ruin this. Can y'all see it? <laughs> okay, ready, go. Oh my God. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we... This is probably very dangerous, guys. Don't try this at home. Oh. <gasps> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. This gigantic leaf, guys. 
here are all the aerial roots. I'm gonna lose a lot of these, um, but we'll see what happens with that. Gosh, everything is merging together that I can't even tell what's what. And like the biggest thing here is not to cut, Ooh, I almost fell, not to cut um, the node. I'm trying to make sure, is that a node? I'm not even sure, what is that? Okay, I have an idea, everyone. I'm gonna cut down here and then I could take a closer look here because like I'm like really confused. Can y'all see it? Future Kevin, zoom in if you can't. Three, two, one. Ooh, oh geez, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh my God, these leaves have such amazing like block -like variegation. Look at this mess, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing, but like, look at this mess. I think I should make a cut here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my God, did it, make, it didn't go all the way through. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna continue on right over here. Three, two, one. You know, I didn't notice that there was two leaves that came out of one node. Oh, this one's so pretty, but I think this is the one that's coming off. So uh, I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Ooh, oh my God, so pretty guys. Okay, next one here, three, two, one. Oh, that's this leaf over here. Down here, three, two, one. You know, this is becoming easier as we go. <laughs> it's cause the big plant is like already in pieces and we're already down here. So I think we're okay. Uh, that is so weird. You know what? The nodes are just really close to each other that it seems like. Yeah, actually the nodes are just close together. Hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Ooh, I might've cut way too close. But we'll just see what happens with that. Over here, three, two, one. I don't know if this one's gonna survive. I might have to put this in a prop box because I know this leaf is gonna fall off. <laughs> Whoopsies. And wow, the nodes are so close down here. Okay, I'm just gonna make a cut here and then we'll see um, with these other two leaves here, nodes, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, see, these nodes are so close together that it's kind of difficult to cut away without cutting the leaf. Well, maybe we could do like a diagonal situation here. Okay, I kind of YOLO'd that one. Okay, do you know what? Not bad. Oh my God, dripping sap everywhere. Okay, cute. And then, how do I feel? Should I just keep... Should I just keep this like that? These leaves, oh my God, they're so cute. Yeah, I'm just gonna probably put this in like a prop box, but I'm very interested because I have, although the roots are dry, I do have a node here. So maybe I'll put it in perlite and see what happens. I'll wait until a callus is over, but I think I'll do that with this one. And then I think that's good. I left two nodes that I can see uh, just to allow the new plant to grow. But guys, this is exciting. Oh my God, and scary, help. Okay, so we have the mother plant. I I guess I'll keep her where she is, oh, which is annoying because it's so much room. Maybe I'll put her, do you know what? I might keep her this way. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, and then this little thing. Can you believe that, guys? But you know what? I'm pretty sure this plant started growing like a year ago. So that's roughly like a leaf per month, which is like insane and crazy. But like... <laughs> Look at this, guys. Obviously, I know that I'll probably have some loss, but I mean, you know, it's an experience and it's insane also. And I'm just remembering this now. This plant is so pricey now. The Jose Bono, geez. Like when I bought this plant, it was $60. And now it's like a few hundred, like it's so crazy. Okay, and I don't know when I'm going to update you guys, but um, we'll see.
Okay, here they are, guys. <laughs> so this is one of the smaller ones over here. And nothing yet. Oh, actually, I don't think y'all can see. I don't know. Future Kevin, zoom in further. Do you see that? Y'all can't see it. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> Look at that. But yeah, no squishinesses. That's this leaf. Oh my God, this leaf is so pretty. Look at that block variegation, love. Ooh, I don't, oh, do you know what? I totally forgot about this one. In the video, I was like, mm, I might have to lose this leaf because I ripped it. I think I'm gonna have to lose the leaf. Oh, do I want to? I already, okay. Ooh. What just flew out? <laughs> so I'm going to, I do have a couple of these, like wet sticks, I guess you would call this. And I have one, I'm, I'm experimenting rooting that one in perlite. I have another one over here. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. It dehydrated a ton, so I just dumped it into water. But you can see she's okay. <laughs> She looks like an octopus. Okay, next one looks good too. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the leaf. Cute. Okay, look at that growth point. And then there's a, there's a root over there. This one, I don't see anything. There's a little, there's a little bulge thing here. Maybe that's another root. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it. Let's not touch her. Oh, that's cute. Okay, oh, actually no, it's not. Ooh, it's not cute. It's not cute, y'all. Oh my God. Uh... Oh, this is tough. Okay, this looks horrendous. This part here looks horrendous. That part here looks horrendous, but it's not squishy. <laughs> I initially just saw this. That's a new growth point. Just coming out from inside. It's like, hello. This leaf over here. But it has this new growth point just in there. This looks black. It's not squishy, everyone. Beauty, beauty, beauty. The roots aren't squishy. There isn't any new root growth. Um, even the growth point here, I don't think there's been much movement. This leaf, there is a growth point coming. Do you see the brightness, the whiteness right over there? This one, Jesus, this leaf, everyone. Oh my God, it is beside me, it is so big. This one was one of the newer, I guess, top cuttings. I did air layer it, and this one actually looks fine. Like, look at all that new root growth. It's everywhere. Like, there's so many new roots coming from the old aerial roots, and I don't know if it's because the roots are newer, but like, that's great. Okay, last but not least, we have a top cutting. So that's this leaf. Again, I kept more nodes, but look at these roots. And there is a new leaf coming. I'm not expecting a lot from it, but it is a variegated one. Like, look how super white it is. Okay, I don't know how well this one is doing. It does have a growth point, and does it have a root? I can't see one, um, but the aerial roots here. I think I had to cut it like this because either I just snipped it and I didn't realize it was too close to the node, but nothing squishy. Like even top here, it's not really squishy. So that's, I guess doing well. I think it's doing well. This one, <laughs> you can't even see it. The points where I cut look fine, but you could see in there there's a new growth point no roots yet but um i'm gonna count that as a win this one looks better so same situation new growth point this one's really big actually this is the mama leaf look how gorgeous don't look at this um, <laughs> but it, it's really pretty and um it does have a little tiny Ooh, it's a little squishy it's a little squishy everyone but you could see a little bit of a uh, root growth there. I'm hoping that the new growth will develop its own root system, but that's the third one. Okay, this one looks great. Oh my God, this one looks great. Okay, leaf and then new growth point, new roots right over here and right over here. Wow, 
The ends aren't squishy. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, this one's good. This one's really good. Okay, four. Okay, five. This one looks good too. Same situation, growth point, root. Ends aren't squishy. Oh my God, yes, five. So the leaf and then new growth point at the node. It looks a little bit creepy, but look at the roots, everyone. How exciting. Okay, and the ends aren't squishy. Okay, is that six? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it's six. Okay, look at this leaf, everyone. Look at that variegation. Okay, seven. Oh my God, this one's also doing well. Oh my gosh, I don't know when to plant these. I'm a little scared after the Syngonium Rei situation. This one looks good though. Did I break a root? I did. See, situations like this. Um, I need to be careful. Okay. <laughs> so the node has a new growth point. There's some new roots and the ends feel good. Oh my gosh. Number eight is the last one in here. And I think I was air layering this one because you could see a lot of old aerial roots here, but the new growth point right over there in the center, the white part, and there's new roots. Look at that, everyone. And this this leaf, although gorgeous, had a little bit of an accident. Okay, so overall, the Jose Bonos are looking great. Okay, so we're back. It's November, and this is the three-month update. I am really excited to show you guys what these plants look like. Okay, let's start off with a top cutting. So, she's not doing that great, but there is, like, a couple leaves that she pushed out. They just look weird. Okay, let me grab her. So she's in Lekka right now and and I guess this is the mother leaf here. Let me show you guys properly. So look how pretty guys she is gigantic. Look at her. There was a leaf over here. You could see that she oh, I feel like I might have a picture, I might not, but she just like rotted. I don't know what happened to her. Then she pushed out this leaf. And as you can see, she's a little yellow. She is right up against the window. So she might be getting a little too much light. And then she pushed out this tiny leaf. Like, I don't know, it looks a little weird. You could see that there is a new leaf coming. So I'm hope. I also thought there was an issue with the roots, um, but when I checked, they look fine. Like, look here, guys. Look at these roots. They look really healthy. You could see that there's a couple wicking cords. Okay, so that, oh. Okay, so that's the first one. So that first plant was the part of the plant that I was air layering. And I'm actually kind of shocked that there isn't like more progress. With my Monstera Thai Constellation, the top cutting that was air layered rooted so quickly, it roots so well, and it produced really, really large leaves. And so I don't know what's wrong with this one. Anyhow, on to the next. Okay, so the second one here is this leaf. You could see that she pushed out a baby. And if I didn't mention before, the majority of the plants are in soil and you could see some roots. Um, they're still pretty small, but they're there. But yeah, the variegation is so like amazing. Like they can have these block variegation sections or they're more like speckly. Okay, the second one over here, this is the mother leaf. Um, you could see that here's the baby. She's such a little cutie and she has a new leaf coming right over there, guys. Oh my God, look. Are you stuck? I'm like very scared to like, okay, we're just gonna leave her for now. Um, You could see, I don't know. You could kind of see those are roots over there. Um, And that's it. Okay, the fourth, <laughs> the fourth one's funny. So here she is. Um, it was the one with the rip in it. This plant fell. It got caught on something. I think this leaf or this part just got caught on something. And here's a picture, but like, mm -hmm. oh yeah. And that's a Cebu blue right beside it. But the whole, this pot cracked. So I had to repot her. 
So yeah, but you can see, look at this little cutie, little baby Jose Bono, look at her. Okay, number five, beautiful leaf right over here. There's no growth. <laughs> so as you can see, there's literally nothing. Oh, wait. <gasps> Guys, <gasps> guys, this is the first time I've seen this. <gasps> there is, okay, I was like, this one is being a little bit stubborn, but look at this new. Oh my God, look at her. Why am I talking like this? Oh my gosh, can you see her future Kevin zoom in? Oh my God, look at her. Because I was a little confused because I knew it was doing okay just because I saw these roots and I was like, she's doing just fine. And this is the first time. Oh my God, little baby, hello. Okay, number six and seven, just because I think at the moment, I'm not at the moment. At the time I was potting these up, I ran out of pots or soil. So uh, these are two different cuttings. There's only one right now who's pushing a new growth point, but look, it's a half moon, guys. <gasps> so cute. Oh my gosh, so, so, so cute. Um, I don't... Yeah, with this one, I don't see a new growth point with the other one, but you could see that the roots look so good. Look at that. Okay, number eight, guys. You could see that the mother leaf that was attached here, the leaf fell off. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Into the trash. But oh, wow, okay, this is like, it's so cute. Okay, it has these two leaves, so... This was the first leaf and then she pushed out another one and I think there's some roots. Yep, right over there. You could see them. The next three, I don't know if you could count them as being being a success because they're like wet sticks or like one node stem situations. And so I put three in wet perlite in a self-watering pot and okay, one looks really good. So this is one. These two leaves, that is one Jose Bono, so cute. Um, the other one over here, I don't want, I tried to see if it was rooted, I'm pulling at it and it's like, I don't want to disturb it. But I think after this video, I'm going to repot them all in Lachusa Pond. But you could see this stump over here is pushing out this new growth point. And so it's kind of looked like that for a while, but I don't want to disturb it, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then the, the third one in this pot, <laughs> I was checking and it looks really sad. Like she does have a new growth point right there, but she looks brown. You know, wet sticks are kind of the grow lights right here. So they're getting a ton of light. So like the other ones, I think I'm gonna put all of these, including this one in Alicia's Upon and see what happens. I think because, I mean, similar to my Monster Tide Constellation, these roots might not be vi viable, so I might have to submerge the green part partially just so its own roots can kind of grow. And it might be the same for the stump over here because the growth point's coming out of there, but it hasn't done anything in quite a while, so we'll assess that later. Maybe I'll make a plant chore video. Okay, cutting number 11. Um, she's in a big pot. I think this might be the portion of the plant below the top air layered portion. So I do think this part of the plant was air layered with perlite or wasn't, it, it was sphagnum moss, Never mind. So ugh, this leaf is so, it's like an umbrella. It was raining today, so this is very fitting. And so this is a new growth. This leaf is unfurling. Um, she just looks green with some speckling, which is fine. And you could see some roots. Um, they're not that obvious, but they're there, guys. Okay, so those were the 11 cuttings. I do have the mother plant still. That survived. Um, I'm I'm so happy with it. This one is, like, so pretty. Okay, and so this is going to be hard to show, but she's still in the same pot of Lekka. I haven't changed, you know, the medium. She, I left a few notes just because I was curious to see if there was going to be one that was favored in regard to growth. And there wasn't. Like, this is so funny and oh is heavy oh my god i know y'all can't see the difference but so this is one growth point these two leaves then these two i think oh my god the luck is gonna drop these two leaves are a second growth point from a different node 
And then these ones, so this leaf. Oh, I'm out of breath, hold on. Okay, so I decided to bring you guys closer. So if you look here, this is the stump. So I made a chop here. I made sure that there was a node right there and you could see that this new plant over here, these two leaves. So that's one plant. The second one is coming from underneath the LECA. So there must have been another node um, that was, was part of the stem underneath. She's growing upwards and that's these two leaves. Oh my God, look at, okay, first of all, gorgeous variegation, but also half moon situation right over here. And then you could see here, so that's the stem on the back. There was a node right here and you could see that there is a growth point producing these two leaves right over here. So overall, she looks like a bush and she's so cute. But yeah, this was exciting. Um, I generally, in this experience with the single node propagations, I didn't have any issues. Even the ones that were classified as like wet sticks that didn't have root systems, like they are pushing out growth even though they're a little slower. And I guess if I were to do something differently, I would, like I said in my Monster Tie Constellation video, I would air layer more. And also, I don't think I had like a sample that was in a sample, who am I? Like a specimen that was in Le Chou's a Pond. And all of these plants are under grow light, like I said previously. With propagations, I would suggest, and it's a rule of thumb for me, just to throw them under a grow light. And yeah, super easy. If I were to suggest a philodendron, it'd be the Jose Bono. I know they're kind of pricey right now, but such a resilient plant. My original one, the big one that I chopped up, wasn't under a grow light and it grew so big. So I know I have south facing windows, but it was in a section of the room that wasn't getting a lot of light and she still was pushing out these gigantic leaves. So um, I guess that's it. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, Y'all know that I love you guys so much. I wouldn't be here without you. I know that. And you just, I get, I'm still, I have no words. <laughs> I'm just so grateful. Like I really am. Um, I'm doing what I love and I get to share that with you guys. And I don't know, it's weird because a lot of you have said that you feel like you're so close to me or that you're, you feel like you're friends with me. And I kind of feel the same way too, like building these connections. Like it's so, it's so like weird, but like also like fun. And like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I was just saying thank you. And, and again, y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Again, I propagated my Monstera Albo around the same time. So that one, like I said, is more sad, but the mother plant guys, the mother plant is looking so good. I cannot wait to show you guys that one. Hoya propagation, that's gonna happen soon. I don't know if you could see, but I have some Hoyas here. Um, we have the Hoya Thompsonii. This Hany A Pink has been in the background of many videos for the past two months now and she hasn't moved and I need to chop her, uh, but I don't have any room or time. And apologies about the lighting. Um, I usually shoot my videos after work. So we're in the situation where, you know, the sun is setting earlier and now I have to use this gigantic ring light, which is fine, but I'm sorry if the lighting is weird because this is like the second video I'm using this ring light and that is dark. But anyways, guys, if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.